cities can have signs, symbols, emblems, even songs, but only Zagreb has Zagreb soloists. Hi, my name is Andrea and today I'll introduce you to the musicians who make up Zagreb's extraordinary chamber orchestra. Hi, my name is Reten Krstic, I play violin and I'm a concertmaster. Hello, my name is Krunos Lamaric and I play the violin. Hi, I'm Saki Kodama, I play the violin. Hi, my name is Jasen Shelfi and I play cello. Hi, I'm Mario Ivelja, double bass player. Hi, my name is Marko Otmacic and I play viola. You can enjoy their virtuoso music all over the world. So far, Zagreb soloists have played more than 4,000 concerts on every continent, apart from the Antarctica. But if you visit Zagreb this year, you'll be attending their 65th anniversary, and that means being treated to something quite special. Since 1953, Zagreb soloists have been the bridge between their native city and the world. Their message? Music knows no frontiers and exceptional music comes from Zagreb. They won't toot their horn, pun intended, but I can tell you they played with some of the world's best musicians. Fans of Vivaldi will remember James Galway's bold act when he played the part of the solo violin on the flute. That was recorded with Zagreb soloists and became one of the best-selling classical albums of the 1980s. Musicians usually play for someone or something, but Zagreb soloists are so special that new music is composed just for them, such as this piece, which Frano Parac composed especially for their birthday. Wouldn't you want a gift like that? Well then, forget about their usual haunts, such as London's Royal Festival Hall, Sydney's Opera House or other famed concert halls. Let's schmooze with Zagreb soloists in a cosier setting. In Croatia, it's the birthday person who treats their friends to food and drinks, not the other way around. That's why you get to enjoy this awesome classical party. It's a treat from Zagreb soloists to you, from the city of Zagreb to you. <laughs> 